So we're just about to go to the cash point and get out some uh, Bulgarian money. Uh, lay, isn't it? Lev. Lev. No, sorry, Lev. Lev. Yeah, we've done too many currencies. I Far forgot. too many currencies. Anyway, so we're going to need about, we reckon, about fifty pounds. So uh, that's about one hundred and ten le Lev. Lev, yeah. Uh, so um, what we'll do is. I'll see if there's any transaction fees. Right, I'm joining the queue. That's Pippa over there making friends. Actually, what I need to do first, before I do anything, is check that my Revolut account has Lev in it. Changed money into Lev in the Revolut account. So I changed 50 pounds, 110 Lev 24 for no fees. So now I'm gonna put it in the cash point and see if I can take money out with no fee. pounds out no transaction fees more pocket money for me now we're off to get uh, me a haircut now it's gone rather boofy so usual traditions we like to get a haircut last time was in York so this time no not in York Yorkshire yeah <laughs> this time now it's time to get me boofy uh, hairdo done so Paul's in having his um, mid trip haircut now so we're outside what is allegedly the best barbers in Plodiv. Um, it should be at the prices he's charging. I think uh, I'm <laughs> I think £13 in Bulgaria for a man's haircut is a little pricey. There we go. He's going to come out looking like George Clooney. So pff, there we go. Money well spent. Sorry? George <laughs> anyway, while we're waiting for George Clooney to come out the barbers, uh, there's some nice little shops along here. Um, this is a nice one. It's got lots of little knickknacks and uh, pretty things to look at while we're waiting. That's cute. And Paul's in there, and part of his expensive haircut is having his hair washed. Oh, he's having his head steamed now. Okay, well, I'm going to take back everything I said about the most expensive haircut going. Uh, I think he's getting his money worth. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, he's having his neck rubbed and everything. Right, so he's had a haircut, a hair wash, uh, oh crikey, the blow dryer's out. Oh my, he's an artist. <laughs> hey, maybe I am going to get George Clooney coming out of here in a minute. George Clooney. Whoa, look at George Clooney. <laughs> place is fantastic. That's amazing isn't it? Yeah it's, it's really really beautiful I mean it was en route and uh, we'd been told it was a nice place to come but uh, it's we're really enjoying ourselves here.
Well, that was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed it. Plates <laughs> are empty, it's gone. Yep. And it was even more delicious because it was only £15 in the old town. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, I think we've got more of this time to uh, walk around and discover because it's fantastic. We're really enjoying it. And uh, the Bulgarians are the warmest, friendliest nationality oh, I yeah. think we've come across on any of our trips. And they all love the dogs. Uh, yes. And the dogs love the stray cats, but that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> Do Dolly's in heaven at the moment because there's a cat round every corner. Um, and they're not standing their ground, so uh, she thinks the chase is on. Of course, if they stand their ground, she doesn't know what to do and she just stops. Run right away. Yeah. She might come across like she likes chasing cats. She's scared of them. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll pay the bill now, shall we? Yes, pay the bill. Yeah. So here we are at the Plovdiv Fortress Wall, about 5 to 6 AD, so it's a few years old and it's about 3 metres deep. What an amazing place this is and all the houses and the history and the friendliness of the people, yeah. well worth a visit, absolutely brilliant. And we've just had two blow your head coffees off and they were Blow warm. your head coffees off? Yeah, that's the one. Blow your head off coffees? Yeah, that's the one. Isn't Try it? again. That's because my head's blown off with the coffee. <laughs> we just had two strong coffees. And they were what, one pound thirteen each? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bargain. In a cafe, on a pavement cafe in the old town. So premium prices probably, but uh, still extreme. Very Bulgaria, very reasonable for Eastern out in. Um, so yeah, this is the old fortress, and obviously it's been found under the streets here. Uh, it's incredible. Shame about the, um, yeah, about the graffiti, graffiti yeah. but uh, yeah. They certainly got a hold of the English language. They certainly do, don't they? And uh, fair enough, I mean, <laughs> that's a good point. That is a very good point. Here we have a famous artist. Uh, it's no. I can't read Bulgarian, but anyway, it's a, it's a cool sculpture. So yeah, we've had a fantastic day, haven't we? We have, and we just rounded it up with a lovely little old lady sting. Oh, I know, she Bracelets. got us good. She got us good. What did you get ripped off for? Well, she did. She did what you'd expect to find um, from the lucky likey men. <laughs> she had that wrapped on his yeah. arm before he even knew what was happening. Yeah. She took it out of her boots and shoelaced my arm. And then she did me, and then she went five, <laughs> and I went sorry, five, five each. Yeah, took the so, yeah. <laughs> Stung by a granny. <laughs> Oh, you're going to sweat. Worse than the sauce, Daphne. I'm going to break it down like it's a pan of <laughs> I, And I'm not even kidding, it's super spicy. I want to break it into a smaller piece because I don't want to destroy you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is super spicy. And I'm very sorry in advance. It's, it's yeah, it's really spicy, isn't it? Yeah. It's killing. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad it was only that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Elliot would like that too? 
you can cook yeah. with this. You don't need it like chocolate. You break it into small pieces and you just yeah. put it in the sauce or something. Really? In a pot. In a big so, amount of So you can put it in We'll have that, that, and a bar of chocolate, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. You can see it on top. It, it, this one? Hot, yes. Oh, he's gonna love that. Yeah. He's gonna die. <laughs> please, please uh, tell him in advance that this is not just chocolate. No, right. No, we won't tell him. No, please. <laughs> he that, would I filmed that. I filmed this. He'll know. He'll know it's. Yeah, well, the size <laughs> I just did. It's, it's still on my tongue. Now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he will. He and loves I, anything really, really hot, and he's always looking for new things. And this is going to be really new. I hope he doesn't die. I found a good park up just on the outskirts of the old town and decided to stay for an extra night because there was so much more to see. The park up wasn't the best in the world as it's on a cobbled street and it could be quite noisy but it was perfectly located so fine for us. we got here? We got the afternoon munchies. Yeah. So that's duck in the pate, bruschetta and mixed pickles. Nibbly bits. Nibbles. Ah, it looks good doesn't it? This is our last day in Plodiv. And uh, we've loved this town city. We've loved this city. We've loved it more than any of the cities I think we've travelled to so far. Second day and lots of steps later. So yeah, so much to see. So stop. Quick drink. Quick drink. Dogs are crashed out. Yeah. Very dog friendly. Yes. One of it, according to the, uh, the guy here, Plovdiv is the most dog friendly city in Bulgaria and we can 100% agree with that. Absolutely. The dogs are like celebrities here. <laughs> it's like they have never seen a poodle before. Keep getting stuff, don't they? Yeah, and people Breed chase us down the street to touch them. So, uh, yeah. And Plovdiv is the best. And we're not sponsored to say that either. It's just no, we're great. not. It's but if uh, Plovdiv here. Council would like to get in touch and offer us residency here, <laughs> we, it would be very rude for us to turn it down. So much street art. <laughs> Don't we? Checking out the um, street art, and it's incredible. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. They've, I mean, I'm, I'm not loving what they've done up there. But, uh, Around here. That this, wall. Is, this is really good, yeah. There's more here, look. That's. Uh, just getting all the photos because there's so many. I'll show you what's behind me. So you've got that behind me, and then all the way down here, down the street, and then there's more. It's everywhere. It's really good. Yeah, that's almost like cuttings out. It is, isn't it? Like a transfer, it's just... Yeah. Love this one. This is brilliant. Check this one out. How good is this guy? Love him. Alright, so on our way, we're just walking our dinner off. Which, what did our dinner cost? It cost £26. So £26. I had the most amazing sea bream I have ever had. It was a fantastic dish. You had... Uh, a car coming at us. <laughs> <coughs> you... You had... It was uh, almost like a...
the burger, but it was seasoned meats put together. Mm. Uh, Herby potatoes, pickle sauce, focaccia bread. Yeah. Absolutely great. Oh yeah, I had focaccia bread as well. And oh, and we had a starter as well, yeah. didn't we? We had pate and uh, bruschetta. It was gorgeous. Yeah. And then two lots of drinks. Of 20... 26 pounds. 26 pounds. Amazing. It's eating out in Bulgaria is really good. Oftentimes, if you run out of water and you don't know where to go to get any, it can be, you know, you can you can pay for water, you can go to a campsite for water, but don't write off just asking people because, especially in Bulgaria, we've just asked and people have been absolutely delighted to help us. So uh, we've just stopped at this, I think it's a building site. And uh, Paul just went out and asked uh, the man, security guard, could we use his toilet, the port there, to empty our cassette. He was very happy for us to do that. And he's let Paul go in the building and uh, fill up our water containers. So uh, other countries maybe won't be so um, tolerant as Bulgaria, but uh, they it's been pretty good. I mean, we uh, filled up the other day at a garage, just pulled in and asked the guy in the garage, could we, and he came out and actually helped to do it. So uh, really, really helpful. Um, and this guy's been really helpful. So uh, we always have to pay them. Um, Paul's just taken in a five uh, note, which is a couple of quid. Move away from Plovdiv which has been one of our best stops on this entire trip. We have absolutely loved that town. We love Bulgaria. We've loved, you know, th this whole area, Romania, Bulgaria. They are definitely our go-to travel destinations now because for motorhoming, there could not be anything better. It's, uh, it's, it's a perfect destination and Bulgaria in particular is extremely cheap. Um, if you are doing cheapskate travels, then Bulgaria is your destination because we have just had a cracking meal today and it was 13 pounds each. And I can promise you, it was a really good meal. There we go. He's back. Did he take his bribe? <laughs> Bless him, he said, no, 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 no. And I said, no, please take it, please. And he put it in his pocket and smiled. Oh, there we are. So, yeah. That was kind. 50 litres of water. Yeah. And a completely emptied and washed out blue. Well, there we go. And uh, he didn't want anything for it. Google Translate and he took it and he was a happy man. There we go. That's good. That's <laughs> I'm out good. of breath because that's heavy. That's 50 litres. Yeah, I was going to say, that would be uh, wrecking your arms. There we go. Right, it's getting really hot in Bulgaria at the moment. I don't know what the temperature is out there, but it's uh, it's really, really warm now. It's warming up, um, obviously, because we're heading down and we're getting closer and closer to Greece. You just let's see me there. Awesome. Cheap travel, red go. Well, cheapskate, cheapskate tricks, I'm knackered. Um, but just be nice and they're nice. Yeah. And if you're not nice, they're still nice, but I've not never not been nice to them, but. Yeah. Just asked him nice, and he's like, yeah. Right. Then take the first right. That's annoying. Does that a lot? Sorry. Oh, frigid hell. Stop it. Dumbo. <laughs> That's it, I think. I think we're okay. Then. Find out in a second. We're all right. Right, we go. we've um, found another spot on Park for Nights and uh, not far away from the centre of Club Deve. So uh, we'll just head off over there and uh, obviously it's a free spot so uh, we'll see you when we get there. There we go, Red's Go Cheapskate tip. I can say it now, 50 litres of water. If I had more, if there was a hose pipe, he said take as much as you want. Aww. So I could have emptied the reservoir and emptied my toilet 20 times over. Um, but yeah, great. It's an abandoned garage being built, rebuilt, or repairs going on. And they he was just, just security, was he? He was security with his old dog. He was about a hundred and <laughs> uh, made his day. Give him, give him some money. Uh, right. See you when we get there.